Hi guys and welcome back to Amazing Fish in UK. My name is Greg and today I'm going to show you how do I make my favorite rig for the place which is two hook flapper rig but uh, we're going to clip him down so watch carefully and see you soon. So to make that rig you're going to need a few basic things. Crimpers, I'm going to use the 50 uh, pound mono. Usually I'm going to use the uh, fluorocarbon which is 20 pound maximum but this time I'm going to use the uh, something big, bigger just to help you to see it better now we're gonna need a few clips we're gonna need this is very important we're gonna need cascade swivel swivel and some swivel with the uh, clips few small bits crimps and obviously because we're gonna clip this down we're gonna need some clips whatever you lose it use it as your own choice uh, and some hooks so let's start from creating the rig body. Like I said before, I'm going to use the 50 pound uh, mono. Do not cut it off. Just leave it on this pull. We're going to cut this off again. So we're not going to lose the components which we're going to put on the on the line. So we're going to start first from the cream. Of the cream I'm gonna put bead now because this is gonna be top hook we're gonna use normal swivel again bead And again, cream. So, what we got now? We got, as you can see, cream, bead, normal swivel, bead, cream. So that's going to be the top. Uh, hook where we're gonna have first snug line <laughs> then we're gonna put the bottom hook again cream we're gonna put bead small bead And now we're gonna go put this cascade swivel. With the cascade swivel, it's very important you're gonna put this on the right direction. So if this is the bottom hook, the cascade swivel needs to be go in this way. So this hook is gonna be down to the bottom of your rig, where where is the lattice and clip. So We need to put this that way. Hopefully you can see it. You see? Then we're gonna put another bead. And we're gonna put another cream. So that's the again the bottom hook for the snoot crimp bead cascade swivel bead crimp again on our main line we got top it's gonna be crimp bead normal swivel bead crimp and the bottom crimp bead cascade swivel which the hook is going down you see this to be down bead and cream very important do not squeeze creams now you can do it at the end 
otherwise it's not going to work. You're going to be having difficult uh, to uh, find the right length of your snoot. So when all the components are on our rig body, at the end we're going to put some small swivel with the clip. Hopefully you can see it. Now today we're not going to focus on the knots, we're not going to focus on the uh, hooks which are we're going to put, uh, we're not going to focus on the uh, green, black beads. I just want to show you how to build the rig and then what you're going to put on it is only up to you. It's about the principle. So line we're going to start from the bottom because this is now we need to go opposite way. If you want to clip them together you need to go opposite way so you need to go up now. So we're going to start from the bottom. Now when you tie your snood line to the bottom swivel, cascade swivel. Now like I say, do not focus on the knots, do not focus on the line, it's just only the example, the principle stays the same. You can put whatever you like on the end of the snood, any attractors, black, uh, green beads, whatever you like. It's only the, sh I want to show you the principle. Now what you need to do? When you got the, your snood ready, tied to the uh, casket swivel, you need to clip the lead with the clip, whatever clip you're using, to the rig body. So now when you got your white clip it to your rig body, it's time for squeeze the crimps. Now this is very important what we're gonna do now. So keep the face close to you. When you got your first first snood, you will need to clip it to your clips. This is the way how this should be done. And you're going up, 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 oops. And you're going up. Going up. So you can see I got cream ready in one of the, in those two fingers. Now, make this one a little bit shorter, this new one a little bit shorter. So at the beginning, uh, the old weight is going to hang on this nut. It's nothing going to happen, just a little bit shorter. So if you are ready, just let go. Keep hold the grip in the place where you want to squeeze it. And just squeeze it. So this way. This is how this looks. We got first snoot ready. See? This is how this looks. First snoot ready. Clip it. Now, you bring in the second. What are you doing now? You bring in the second cream. And you just clip it. Don't do too close, leave us some gap and you can clip it. So nothing will happen. Don't just you don't need to put too much power. And this way it's done. So the first clip is done. First note is done. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna do the second snood. As you can see, I already tie the second snood. Like I say, whatever you want to be hida, it's a totally up to you. It's just only showing the principle. Second snood. Now I'm gonna show you how to clip the second snood. So before we're gonna clip the second snood, what we need to do? We need to obviously squeeze the crimp. To having to choose the wrong place to squeeze the 
crimp, what we need to do first, we need to clip the first node to our clip to the LED. Yeah. And then you got that cascade swivel. We need to clip the second snoot. Hopefully you can see it. See? And then again we need to choose the right place to clip the to squeeze the crimp. Again, make it a little bit shorter, so the weight at the beginning is going to hang on the both nuts. When you are ready, put this up and squeeze the crimp in the place which you choose. All done. Bring you on top snood. See, squeeze the top crimp. And we are almost there. Now, when you've done both snoods. And you squeeze the creams. This is the time now where you cut off and tight swivel. on the top of your rig body. When the rig is ready, I'm gonna show you how that looks when you're gonna clip it everything together. So what are you doing? First, you clip the bottom hook to the clip. You can see it. And then you remember you got the cascade swivel. You're gonna clip the top hook. and your rig is ready. As you can see, two hook flapper, hopefully you can see it, two hook flapper, clip it down. It's much easier when you want to cast. So guys, hopefully you like this video and if you like it, please subscribe it. See you soon.